Are you an aspiring entrepreneur but unsure what to start or what to do? Today I'm going to be talking about three things that you can use to unlock the entrepreneurship within you. So make sure you stick around for the whole message today so that you can take advantage of all three of these lenses. Hi, Eric Partaker here, author and peak performance expert, and also a coach to CEOs and entrepreneurs. And today I wanna to talk about three things, three lenses, if you will, three things that you can look through, or three filters that you can apply to your life to unlock the entrepreneurship within you. Because within you, you'll have tons of ideas or things that you could be doing or deciding not to do. And often as aspiring entrepreneurs or established entrepreneurs who are looking for that next idea, you can stall and you cannot make any progress because you're not sure exactly what you should be focusing on, what to do. So the first lens, the first filter is looking at love. So what is it that you love doing? I highly encourage you, by the way, to take all the potential ideas that you might have and just list them all out on a piece of paper. And then you're going to put each of these things I'm going to go through as a column and you're gonna rate each of the ideas one to 10 to the degree to which you do that category. So the first category is love. To what degree would you love doing whatever the idea may be? You know, to what degree would it just absolutely you know, bring out a lot of joy within you, a lot of happiness, um, you know, bring out you know, a huge smile in your face? Um, how much would you love doing? that task or that project or that new activity. The next thing, the next column on your list is skill. So we like to do things that we're really skilled at, things that we're really talented at. And so I'd like you to evaluate all of your ideas, again, one to 10, 10 being you're super skilled at it, you could deliver a great job on it, on the talent front. So how skilled are you at each of these things on your list? each of these potential entrepreneurship ideas. And last but not least, I want you to think about need. So love, skill, and need. To what degree would the world really need this idea, this activity that you have in mind, this new business proposition? Ultimately, your idea needs to solve a problem or present you know, a solution uh, to those in need. And so if the world is not really going to be in need of it, you could have something that you love doing, that you're very good at, um, but if the world doesn't really need it, then it's not going to be a great idea entrepreneurially. Um, similarly, you could have something the world really, really needs that you're really good at, but that you absolutely hate, and that's not going to be a great idea either. Or you could have this passion project, oh, I absolutely love this, but frankly, you're not very good at it, and the world does really need it though, but that's not going to work either. So love, skill, and need, these three together, high scores in all three of these categories, really can unlock the entrepreneurship within you or give you that push towards an idea and the myriad maybe of ideas that you have, or maybe even help you generate an idea. You know, another way that you could approach this exercise is to not list out all of your ideas and instead just think about each of the spheres. So what are all the things that you love? What are all the things that you're really good at? And what are all the things that come to mind from a problem point of view with the world that you really want to solve? And see which things lie at the intersection of all three circles. Something that you love, that you're skilled at, and the world really needs. And then that, once again, is a great candidate, a great potential idea for you to explore on your own or perhaps with the help of others. I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. What do you do to unlock the entrepreneurship within you? What techniques or tips or tricks can you share that have helped you or others figure out what they should be doing on their entrepreneurial journeys? Leave a comment below and let us know. And please hit like and subscribe so that you can receive updates on future videos. Thanks.